So Gary, a disappointed 2-1 loss against Torquay tonight. What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, disappointing to, uh, to like I say, come and, and, and not get something from the game, really, because I thought we, um, like I say, for large, large parts, we're, we're on top. Um, conceded from, from two transition moments, or two breakaways, sorry, and um, yeah, it was, uh, it was not necessarily tough to take. I, I think overall, look, we've, had a, we've had a good start to the season. I think today probably um, was one tough game too many. You know, we played nearly an extra 20 minutes, I think, across the, <laughs> across the game. And, and as you see, we're trying to make subs. Um, uh, and, and, and we've sort of not necessarily made, managed to make one quick enough. Um, and the, the red card sort of kind of changed the game. Um, but look, overall, I'm really, really pleased. Just said in there that to, to, to start with six points is is good, and to come here again today and, and push them all the way, and like I said, dominate possession for large parts of it. Um, particularly then again at the start of the second half was was really, really encouraging. So disappointing result, but um, yeah, look, it was like I say, probably maybe one game, 20 minutes too much for us today. Aaron Amani Holloway went off in the second half. Do you have the latest on him? Uh, it looks like it's just a, a slight niggle in his, in his lower hamstring, so hopefully, um, hopefully it's not too bad. And hopefully we've got him off soon enough. Um, again, that's a, a blow for us. That, that obviously causes us to, to have a bit of a reshuffle, and you lose your, um, you know, lose your, your, your two centre halves that have been so good. And, you know, he's, he's come to step in, um, and uh, yeah, like I say, maybe he's just overstretched and overexerted himself. But we look at it over the next couple of days, and uh, hopefully we'll have enough time to to, make, uh, to get him back for Saturday. But yeah, really too early at the moment. Craig Fasser made two goals in two games. How important is he to your side going forward? Yeah, they all are. They, they, they're all important. It was a, it was a great finish from Faz. He's, he's, he's closed the back door after um, Matty's gone down the left and put in, you know, in a, a great pass or a great cross um, from the left-hand side. So they're, they're, they're all really, really important. You know, Craig doesn't score that unless Matty makes a, a run down the left and puts in a pinpoint cross. Um, and then we have chances after that. Um, so yeah, look, he's, he's in form. Faz does that really, really well. Did it really, really well at the end of last year. Um, but it's not just those. You know, we've, we've obviously um, started you know the season quite well, and, and Ty scored, and, and um, you know we still still have Owen who's played a part tonight, and obviously Alex Bray who's like I say missed large parts of pre-season. So we've got some exciting forwards in, in forward areas. So Craig might get the plaudits for, for two and two, but you know as a collective, um, you know we're we're happy with our forward options. Back at home on Saturday against Tombridge Angels. What are your thoughts ahead of the return back home? Um, probably becomes a bit more of a difficult game at the moment, given that, like I said, we've we've almost had a, a period of extra time tonight. Um, so yeah, look, we'll, we'll we'll patch a few up and see how we get on for for Saturday. Obviously, we'll be missing um, Nat, who picked up a red card on, on on Saturday, so we'll have to see what we do there. Um, and uh, yeah, that probably becomes a slightly more difficult game for us. But yeah, I, I think, like I said, we've got a, a good squad. We've got squad depth. Um, you know, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go as we always do and, and try and work out a way of uh, getting another three points at home. Thank you very much, Gary. Cheers.